Now to the impeachment inquiry targeting President Trump. The president now says he is strongly considering testifying. He made that announcement on Twitter just this morning as the House gears up for another round of public testimonies. ABC's Monica Sar Abdi shows us who Democrats are getting ready to put the spotlight on. In a surprising Mr. twist, President, President Trump Biden says he's entertaining House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's offer that she made on CBS for the president to testify in the impeachment inquiry against him. The president could come right before the committee and talk, speak all the truth that he wants, or he could do it in writing. Trump responding on Twitter, quote, she also said I could do it in writing. Even though I did nothing wrong, I like the idea and will in order to get Congress focused again. Strongly consider it. The president's tweet comes as eight more witnesses are set to publicly testify over the next three days. Democrats particularly preparing to press EU Ambassador Gordon Sondland on his closed-door testimony, which has now come under scrutiny. Mr. Sondland has to decide whether his primary loyalty is to America or whether his primary loyalty is to the president of the United States. Two weeks ago, the Trump mega-donor revised his closed-door testimony to confirm that he told Ukraine's leader that he would, quote, likely not receive promised military aid from the U.S. until he agreed to make a public statement concerning investigations into the Bidens and the 2016 election. And in that testimony, Sondland made no mention of a July 26 phone call that a State Department staffer testified took place between Sondland and President Trump. The top diplomat to Ukraine, Ambassador Bill Taylor, first alerted the House to the call, stating his staffer had overheard Trump inquiring about Ukraine investigations on that call. Ambassador Sondland told President Trump the Ukrainians were ready to move forward. Republicans have dismissed much of the allegations as hearsay. Where of it? No one's testified that there's been a quid pro quo. Everyone's got second, third hand, fourth hand information. On Tuesday, we will hear from four new witnesses, three of whom were on President Trump's now infamous phone call with Ukraine's leader, including former National Security Council official Tim Morrison, whom Republicans say backs President Trump's account that he did nothing wrong. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, Washington. You can watch the impeachment hearings live on ABC 10 starting tomorrow at 6 a.m. That's right after 10 News at 5.